Hello, Hello Floss Tube. We're, We're the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. This is Ronnie. And Piper. Ronnie's wet because we're on day five of rain. Wish we could send it to California. And Oregon. Yes. And anywhere else. Uh, we're all praying for you. So if you are somebody who is affected by that, by the virus, if you're not aware. Um, okay, so what did we do this week? I don't even remember. We went to Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. We shipped our charts. We right. did e-learning. <laughs> I didn't. It just like sucks the life out of you. I'm telling you. I know it's hard for the teachers too. Somebody put a comment like it's as hard. It sucks the living daylights out of you. <laughs> um, and then I think that's it. Yep. Because we can't work in the yard since it's been raining since when? Monday? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, we just filmed all the questions without filming it. So and Kevin Ronnie. was here and he was uh, all right. Missed him. So Karen wanted to know, do you know how you'll finish my Christmas list yet? I have ideas, but I haven't firmly planted them because I haven't laid the piece down on the to see if it'll fit. Right. Rita, if you have to wash a finished piece of cross stitch, what do you use to wash it in and do you let it soak? So we don't wash our stitching and we couldn't because we use hand dyed floss, which is not color fast. So, and we also coffee tea dye and dye our fabric. So it, I think it would just be a, a mess. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you do wash it, I think a light detergent is what you're supposed to use. I, I don't like know. Like a baby soap or something. Yes. Well, um, I, maybe not soak it unless you have a stain or something on it. Mm -hmm. Christina, where do you get all of the cute things you use in the middle of your bows? Every place and any place. Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Walmart. You can take apart picks. You can uh, use... Target dollar spot. Yeah, miniature decorations. Um, Not one certain place. Kathy, do you set aside a certain amount of time to stitch or do it whenever you can? So for me, I like to stitch in the morning when I get up and I also stitch at night before I go to bed and if I have free time during the day now that this is our job I stitch as much as I can to get the things done. Schedules kind of changed a lot in March because now you I mean everyone's home everybody's I don't know mm -hmm. do it when you can. If you get into a routine though I think it helps I think routines help people in general but if you can get a routine to kind of calm yourself down before you go to bed at night or something like that it might be beneficial for you and i enjoy starting my day stitching mm -hmm. and i always watch garden answer while i stitch in the morning mm -hmm. and then, then i go out and do my work but like we said it's been raining for five days so polar opposites she watches laura garden answer and then heather mcdonald um <laughs> Mary, I love your designs. Will you be doing any alphabets? Um, not just a standalone alphabet, but we, we have, have some charts planned in 2021 that we're going to be doing that will require an alphabet. So we hope to have those done. Yes, absolutely. We need to get a schedule together. We, we have so many ideas slapped on to just <laughs> our foreheads that no, we just they're, they're need to read. They're written like four different places. Right. So. Seven text messages, eight calendars, <laughs> and her sketchbook. Um, okay, Sam, when I coffee tea dye, there are huge spots of what looks like coffee grounds stuck in the fabric. How do you avoid this? One, it might be, okay, so if you have tea bags too, those tea bags could have exploded. So you need to be careful with those when you're like stirring the mixture mm -hmm. around. If you're using instant coffee, make sure that that's dissolved before you put your fabric in and mm -hmm. it's kind of boiling and then you can turn it the, the heat down, obviously. So for me, I kind of like the weird spots. The modeling. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're using those uh, coffee bags that you get at like... Um, hotels if one's like sitting directly on the fabric it can cause that to get a lot darker grainy yeah um but you could take it out and just rinse that area if there's coffee grounds or a tea bag exploded we've rinsed it and if it's not dark enough after we rinsed it we just pop it back in um oh <laughs> hey this is becoming a zoo. Like, we need to have some formality here. Um, Kathy, who are both of your favorite designers? So. We love stitching our own designs. Right. 
and for me, probably second would be Prairie Schooler because I just love the timeless quality of them. But I also, you know, love the Little House Needleworks, the Country Cottage Needleworks, the Needle and Thread. Hands on Design, Lizzie Kate. I mean, all the people that you see are, our we're not going to stitch something that we don't like. Mm -hmm. It's so Emma, Lori Holt. Mm -hmm. All of them are easy to read. They're not terribly complicated. The most complicated that I've ever done is a, it's drawn, th drawn thread, right? Mm -hmm. That's a drawn thread. Um, they have different kinds of stitches in there. That challenges me, but I really like their designs as well. Alrighty, Deanna, do you cut your sticky board with scissors or a trimmer? Girl, if we cut it with the scissors. <laughs> you couldn't. Trimmer, you would have to, you would trimmer. have to use a, I'm trying to get them over here. Also, if you don't have a guillotine trimmer, you can use a, some people use like a quilting ruler and they score it with a, uh, a knife or a rotary cutter. You can do that. Um, but we have a guillotine trimmer. It's a tonic. It's like $49.99, I think, in our Amazon shop that we've purchased for her to use. Thread needle, how and when do you pick hydrangeas for drying? So you have to wait until they're a little bit papery. Otherwise, they'll be like too mushy and they just flop. Their stems won't hold up. Neither will their petals. So. Okay. And, wow. What I just, just happened? Oh, oh. oh, he turned the lights off, maybe? No, I think all of them flashed. Oh, what? Is uh, it's 2020. Oh, he just hit me. Okay. Um, but if you don't... Look, the look he's giving Piper is not good either. <laughs> Hi, baby. This is a zoo. Night-night? You're going night-night? Yeah. Okay, give me a kiss. Good night. <laughs> okay, good night. Give me a kiss. You want to say hi and bye to everyone? Say hi. Um, this is my iPad. <laughs> um. Nope. Okay. Go night night. Yeah, yeah. All right. And then also what I talked about when we first did it was I picked, so I, I cut a, a bunch of them off and I just stuck them in a big bucket and I'm probably only going to keep them for fall. So I didn't add any water, but if you want to, for them to last, like for the whole year, you should probably put them in a little bit of water so that they suck up the last of the water and then they, they dry. Yep. Yeah. Until the water evaporates. Yep. Yeah. Krista, how do you mount the sticks on the back of your wreaths? Usually with hot glue, sometimes I have to um, like weave them into the grapevine or something. It, it all depends, or wire them. It depends on what kind of wreath I'm doing. With sticks, she's talking about, like, mm -hmm. mom has used paint sticks previously mm -hmm. to attach the sticky board to the paint wreath. Or stick. Yes. Uh -oh. Okay, so we were planning on going to Lila May Retreat mm -hmm. in Arkansas. So... Kim's daughter, Ashley, dyed fabric, which is what I showed you last week with aquamarine. And I will text them after the video and ask them if they want to do that to sell. But otherwise, you can dye your own with aquamarine. Or also, I know that Kimberly at Fat Quarter Shop, when she stitched our Penelope and Peep, she stitched that on an aqua fabric from Fabric Flare that they sell there. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. But they can be stitched on any color. Yes. They would look good on black as well. Uh, Dinya, or no, Tony, when stitching in hand, my fabric holes seem to stretch out. I've tried a looser stitch and it still happens. What am I doing wrong? I'm stitching on Witch Helps 32 count. Okay, so you might be using too big of a needle. You should probably be using a 28. Um, I don't have experience with 32 count. I've only done a couple of pieces on 32 count and I haven't had that problem, but we use even weave, we don't use linen. So that could be the problem there too. Yes. Lisa, could you add garlic to the sauce and would you replace the onion with it? Mom has an aversion to garlic, so. <laughs> uh, so my Italian heritage is Sicilian and they don't use a lot of garlic. So I'm not a fan of garlic because we didn't, like when I was growing up, that wasn't added. Mm -hmm. Um. I also feel like I'm allergic to it because like, if I go to an Italian restaurant and there's a lot of it, I wake up in the morning, my eyes are all puffy, my nose is kind of you know, sinusy or whatever. Anyway, I tried it once to add it and I thought it made the sauce taste bitter when I took it out of the freezer, like, you know, three months after I'd made it or whatever. So for me, if I felt like I needed to add garlic, I would add it at the time you were going to eat it right. instead of trying to roast it in there. But a lot of our people add it and like it. So it's up to you. Yes, absolutely. Maybe try a little bit with and try a little bit without. Mm-hmm. Uh, and would you replace the onion with it? I would keep no. the onion in mm -hmm. there. 
Lisa, or best enchanting decor, where can I find the truck behind you for finishing? Hobby Lobby. Mindy, do your patterns work on Pattern Keeper? I have to do some homework. I'm not sure. I meant to download that. What is that? It's like an app to keep your patterns, I believe, your digital patterns. Oh. Amber, were you going to Arkansas for fun or a retreat? It was for the Lila May Designs retreat. Petty Jean. Mm hmm We were... Yes. Looking forward we were to that. there last year at this time in our time hop every day. We we're like, ah! yeah, we had to leave the last one early when uh, COVID yes. started. So we were hoping to get back there, but next time. Mary, is your new fabric going to be a basic that Fat Quarter Shop carries all the time? Or will it be like other lines that once it's gone, it's gone forever? So we, our understanding from Henry Glass is it's going to be a basic in their line. So I would think that you can probably get it as long as stores keep ordering it. And we hope to have some more fun details about the fabrics. So I talked to Kimberly because I didn't know how to answer this. And she said she will be reordering it. It's just that reorders are kind of back ordered right now. So did you yes. guys have been buying a lot? Uh, Janice, when do you pull your zinnias and do you have mums that come back year after year? So I have one kind of mom that comes back every year and it, I got it from my brother and sister-in-law in Connecticut and it's like a peachy daisy type of flower and they multiply and they're amazing. I love those. A lot of them got wrecked though with the sidewalk thing. So I don't know how many I'm going to have. And the other mums that I buy every year, I think are perennials, but I don't plant them in the ground. I usually just keep them in the pots and you know, put them in other pots so those don't come back. What about your zinnias when you pull those? I've already started pulling some because our weather has just been so weird with the no rain except for two huge storms that have knocked down sunflowers on top of them and they like now I've had to rip some out on my sidewalk because the dogs couldn't get by because the rain has just smashed them down because yeah. it's just been raining for five days. We so. wish we could send it out that way. Mm -hmm. We're worst. praying for all of you who are affected by the fires right now. It's sad to watch. Mm -hmm. um, we, I don't know if we said that in the beginning. We've filmed this like seven times now. So I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> um, what, what else was I going to say? That was it? Okay. I don't know. Oh, we were going to do a fall planter as well. We might film that if right, the rain right. lets up. But right now it's like full on fall. Like it's it's cold out. The sweatshirt is warranted But today. it's going to be warm next week and next week is pumpkin picking. Yes, Woo! pumpkin picking week. <laughs> All right. So for previous finishes, this is, what is this, Pumpkin Hollow Farm? Yes. And you're not allowed to show them the back of that. Yeah. <laughs> Mercy. Yes. But I had gotten this wreath at a... Uh, a church Roman sale, I think. And then I I cut a big piece of sticky board or, no, maybe there's a board. There's a board in the back that goes the full length of it and I don't know where I got that board. And then I mounted the sticky board over the top of it with the black gingham fabric and then I mounted the stitching on top of it and then just added a black check bow. But this hangs on the basement door in the kitchen, I love it. This was a stitch along, PC Pumpkin Hollow Farms, right? Yes, I finished mine. And that's my little house needle works if I didn't say that. And this is one of the sampler months. And these used to be just a thread pack and now they've come out. She just released them with, I think all the months in one chart. So this was a September from that. And I love it because it wasn't school. But I keep it in this crate with chicken wire on the front. There you go, just knocking the pumpkins over. I put some of my sweater pumpkins in there. Sweater pumpkins were made from thrift store sweaters. If you're on my see blog, that. if you want to try to make some, it's on the blog. All right, and then we had some new releases this week. So, as you guys know, we are in Housewives Halloween. Uh, <laughs> so, the first Halloween was Cataween Wanda. She's our, our Wednesday gal. And then the next Wednesday, we had Spooky Haunts. I've, I've loved seeing everybody's. Show them the back of that one, too. Woo, we're Priscilla's pads there. Then, well, how did you finish this? Just uh, an ornament, just like the last mm -hmm. one. Yep. And the I when I did the blog post for this, I linked the video where we showed how to do the Christmas ornaments, which are finished exactly the same way as these. Yep. So you can go there to figure that out. 
Um, we have both had problems with our Instagrams, not allowing my blog to be involved, which we don't know why. Yeah, so we were in Instagram jail. I was in there for a long time because I kept reporting it. So anytime I would go to like a photo, post a photo, whatever the case may be, it would have a pop-up that said it, my actions were blocked. Mm -hmm whatever and you can report it so every time i would report it i also filled out two forms for instagram and it still wasn't getting fixed i had heard um i had heard that if you remove everything from your profile that it allows you to start liking things again so i removed all i had like our link tree so it would take you to youtube it would take you to our hoodies where you could purchase them so i took and her blog i took mm -hmm. it all off then she started having issues. Yesterday morning, they tried to get me again. I, it got me a couple of weeks ago on a Sunday, but then it got, the, by the next day it was fine. And then yesterday morning, they started to say that I couldn't like anything and I can't have that. So I removed my blog and so far I'm okay. And yesterday people were also telling me that are on my Priscilla's Facebook page that they couldn't share my photos because Facebook said it was against their rules. It was mm -hmm. a patriotic photo. Yeah, it was. So it's kind of scary. All right. And then we had on Saturday, so where's, on Friday. Where's the other one to this? I don't know. On a road trip? No. Nobody's on a road trip. The first one was uh, Witch Please. And then. That's on a paddle. Hmm. Okay, we'll find it. Yesterday we released Pumpkin Queen. So she's got her leafy crown up there, mm -hmm. her candy corns, her plaid dress, her, yes, plaid dress. If you don't know it's Checks. a dress, it could be a shirt. It's a dress. Mm -hmm. She's a queen. But she's Long a queen of the <laughs> Pumpkin Queen. So these can be found on our Etsy. They are digital files. You go to our Etsy shop and you download them from there. Some people mm -hmm. were having, they thought that they were paper patterns. All of those so far are mm -hmm. PDFs. Digital. Yes. Digital files. All right, then she had another finish. This is Little House Needleworks Old Red Barn. Isn't it cute? So I finished it on a piece of real barn wood. It's red. Chelsea cut for me. And I added these two picks with these burlap oak leaves and cotton. Those were from Walmart. I added some black flannel ribbon and a big sunflower, and I used our fabric for the backing. I love it. And it's stitched on that um, fabric flare what, white washboard. Mm -hmm. And I changed, the, I didn't add the people, I added chickens, and that's it. So those were our chickens, right? Yes. From where, no, no, they were part our chickens, and then I made them bigger. Yes. So. Anyway, they're cute. Mm -hmm. Found her. Which please. <laughs> so she was the first Friday of Housewives Halloween. Cups. Okay, and then I wanted to show you these. These are corn picks, and I got these at Hobby Lobby, and I wish I would have found them before I did my finish for the November truck. But if you're finishing your November truck, or if you're doing Clovis and Stanley, these would be so cute. So. I love them. Yeah. The little fake corns. So, Hobby Lobby. I have them back here in the... Oh, I just... It's just fine. It's, it's fine. All right. Uh, <laughs> whips. Do you have any more finishes? No. All right. So, I have this whip. I can't show it's yet. It's not a whip. It's a finish. Oh, yeah. It's finished now. It took me a, a while. I'm not a good model stitcher. <laughs> um, so, that was one. And then, last... I have another one, but I didn't bring it, so I can't show it. And for those of you that asked what's on that cup back there, it says, oh my gourd. Oh my gourd. <laughs> and I did not find that in the store. I bought it from Mercari. <laughs> Last night, uh, I was feeling very patriotic. So while I watched some, you know, postings about September 11th, I decided to stitch on my Stitch Quarterly American Spirit. So I was able to finish the blue uh, around the stars and then I was able to do that stripe work and this blue is one of my favorites that I've stitched on ever I don't know what it was dyed with but it's very pretty it was stitched on like a, a coffee tea dye but I wanted to change it it's pretty right yeah very pretty 
So that was what I stitched on. That looks like my Christmas list fabric and yes. this fabric. Yeah. So that must be what? Evening. You think it's evening blue or not denim? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Well, when we need to dye a fabric again, we need to label tag them. it. Somebody <laughs> said for us to do that. I'm going to put my hair up so I stop playing with it, guys. Don't worry. Um, okay. What whips do you have? Did you bring them in here? Yes. We've stopped the video 17 times. We can't <laughs> stop it again or it won't upload until next year. So I'm on my last... Did you use different colors? No. I just haven't filled in the main part, so the colors. I'm on my last ornament. And then I have to start the Halloween ornaments because Chelsea stitched those and I have a Halloween tree and I need those ornaments, so... I feel like I like it like this. It looks like black and red buffalo chick. So maybe just keep it like this. This is Gingham Greetings too. Then Mary Misses, Jolly Claws. This one uh, will probably take me, what, a half an hour to an hour to finish it up, yes. and I'll be done. And so. this was Gingham, Gre Gingham Greetings, the first one. Yes, it does look really cute with no colors in it, so there's different ways you can do them. Okay. The Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher magazine has started shipping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, she posted on her Facebook that, you know, it's up to the post office at this point. So just be mindful of that, that everything is kind of delayed. So I got all the way to the bottom on Calvin and Clyde. And I love it with the, just the white on it. It looks so awesome. I wish I could have gotten more done. I just want to get this finished and get it hung up. And I can give you yours to yeah, take well, home. Yeah, well, you got one. So. <laughs> yeah, but then you can take it home. And then the main thing that I've been working on besides the... I finished the Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher last Saturday, so we did get it in on time. At the buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> we were late. Anyway, <laughs> we... You guys are going to love it. I like that one is probably my favorite. My, it is my favorite. It is. Mm -hmm. I think mine too. But wait till you see it. And then I I can't show you this, but this is... You can show. I think if they could see what that is from your stitching on the back. This is a time where she's okay to show the back. <laughs> She's okay. You, you'll be able to see that in a couple weeks. You saw sneak peeks of Ronnie sitting on it. And I text most, I'm like, you showed a lot in that little sneak peek. I did not. You what did, did I show? I asked her if she had her glasses on because there was a lot showing. <laughs> I wanted to show like this much of one that I'd stitched. And she's like, no. And she like folded it into like a scrap <laughs> like this. Nope. <laughs> All right, what else do you That's all I got. <laughs> um, okay, then we had, what, what, there's like a pile of stuff here. I've been decorating for fall too. I almost have the house done. I just have to do the chalkboards and. I brought the bins up, guys. She did. People were talking about that. Uh, uh, we, the look that I gave you when you were talking about how you wanted to get your fall decor out. <laughs> I was like. I only asked Hunter 12 times, so. <laughs> and then she was down there and I didn't know what she was doing. And she's like, I already got all the bins out. And I was like, all right, I'll carry them up. I didn't know. You didn't I ask. carry them up. They weren't that heavy. They I carried heavy. two of them down. And then Cash has to help. So he oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> all right. So we got a ton of gifts this week. People are so generous. Um, so this was from Tracy. And she sent us this beautiful card and she made us some clay pins to put in pin cushions. She said because of how sublime we are. And they're little limes, aren't they so cute? <laughs> That's my favorite thing. I absolutely a lime love in them. My Coke. Yeah, if she, yes, if you don't have the lime, she's not drinking the Coke. No. And no Pepsi isn't okay. She mm -mm. only drinks Coke. <laughs> you can't be diet. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm. Um, she's not picky. I don't drink it that often, <laughs> but when I do drink it, that's how I want it. Oh my it. god, both of us will be here and we're like, oh goodness. We just we Hunter, can you go get us a Coke? <laughs> We don't keep it in the house because we don't want to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then um, we're really prima donnas Look at this. Sometimes. Look at this. This made this us so excited. It was like being in Disney. So we just have these bags just in our house mm -hmm. as bags to use. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, this is from JP. She works at Disney, I believe I read, and she wanted us. To, she wanted to send us some just and Disney I also, magic. Like in my Christmas bins, I have a lot of Disney bags holding ornaments and yes, stuff. Yes, with tissue paper and whatnot. Yes, and I, I take them out, and it's like I have old bags. The very merry Christmas party was canceled. canceled. Hmm. Um, but she sent us some Halloween candy popcorn. She, the, what she was talking about was the the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party was canceled. Yes, so she's, but also we found out recently right, but that probably when she sent this stuff, it wasn't. Yes, so popcorn and the. So it's just like being there. <laughs> I'm so excited to jump into this. Okay, thank you so much. And she said she watches us on her lunch break. <laughs> Can you show us to Mickey? No. Sorry, sorry if you're listening, headphones, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, there you go. All right, then these two, right? Uh, thank you note, this was from, oh my goodness. This is from Bethy. Thank you, and thank you for your generosity. She included some postage money in there, so thank you so much. Thank you. And then another beautiful card. For you or a giveaway. This is from Barb. She sent us this. We'll give that away today. Yes. And and then a beautiful card. Thank, Thank you, you so much. That was from Barb. Then I did that one. Um, this, this is what you told me about last night, right? Okay. Then this is a beautiful card and it is from Gina. With a really, really nice note. And she sent us, I didn't open mine yet, but she sent us, oh my goodness. Does it say queen? It does say queen. <gasps> Pandora charms that say queen. <laughs> this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That was such a, a nice surprise. Thank you. Keep that together. Uh, next up, uh, I'll show after. we have, okay, and now uh, this, this is this. This is from Robin, and Robin, you sent us such a generous gift. We truly appreciate it. We are uh, praying for your husband. We are praying for you. Thank you, and we're going to write you a little note. Thank you so much. She sent us a very generous gift in here. Then we had, this was for this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is from Eva. <laughs> <laughs> Tazo tea. English, I'm not even going to show you guys. You're going to go and you're going to buy it. And then we're not going to be able to. <laughs> I went to the pantry and there was like one box left. And I was like, ah! Amazon. <laughs> she sent us the favorite tea that we like. <laughs> um... <laughs> There's lots of flavors of Tasso. I think awake English breakfast is like the worst. So you should probably try the other ones. Right. <laughs> They're much better. We like black tea. We put uh, half and half in sugar in it. This is just like We that. can't drink Coke, but we can drink that. The this caffeine like level. A this. step up from <laughs> Lipton. Yeah. Um, then this is this. this. And I got hooked on this because of going to Starbucks, but Starbucks doesn't do that to me anymore. Oh. I didn't know. I get a uh, green tea, lemonade, iced tea or something. I don't know. I started getting that instead of those chocolate drinks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I like a mocha frappuccino. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Mary and Joseph. Um, <laughs> Jody. Jody. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you. And then she sent us some pens. And Ray she sent something for you guys. And she sent one of you guys. <laughs> ah, the coveted letters to Santa mailbox. Mm -hmm. Is that today that we're doing that? Yep. All right. So we're doing this as a giveaway, and you're gonna get the chart, the chart from us. So that's gonna be a giveaway. Put it, somewhere. and then I need to put this somewhere. All right. Then this one. This was from Suzanne, and she sent the nicest card. Thank you. And look! Ah! <laughs> oh, my goodness. And there's two. So 
So our, our stores, Home Goods, Hobby Lo uh, Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Yeah, not we go Lobby. in there and they have like four cups. They haven't gotten any Halloween that we've seen, nothing. So we don't know what the deal is. This. <laughs> My goodness. She sent a beautiful card. This is from Patty. Patty has had chickens, I think she said 45 years. Yes, look at her chicken. She sent pictures of her chicken, of her coop. Um, she is so sweet and she was stitching on 28 count for the longest time. And, and then she said she wanted to go back to 14. Yep. So she and sent us all the 28. <laughs> she sent us a box full of 28 count. So we are going to be in business for a very long time. And there is some linen in here that we probably won't use. So those will be future giveaways. Yes. So. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Did she dye this? I don't know. Awesome. Oh, it looks like it. 28 count Monaco that I dyed. Yes. Woo! Yep. All right. Thank you, Patty. Yes. <laughs> Can you dye some more? <laughs> no. All right. And then... Can we show these? I'm not sure. I would think so. Show the magazine. All right. So then we have the magazine. We're on the back cover again. Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher. There are amazing designs in here. So there is ours right there. Amazing designs. And that's our fall sunflowers. I love this trick or treat right here. Is that Barbara Anna? Who is that? Yep, Barbara Anna. I knew And it. Fat Quarter Shop has the floss packs, and we are going to give away some of these floss packs today. Woohoo! Plus, we're going to give away some magazines. Yes. Okay. Those, those are coming straight from Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. Yes. Um, we also got this. This is a Stitch Quarterly. I'm not sure if we can show you the front of it, but we each yes. got one plus an extra. So we're going to give one of those away today, too. All right, put that in the pile. Okay. Uh, are we on giveaways right now? I hope so. That we, that's what's in there. <laughs> yes, it is. We had a ton of giveaways last week. So first of all, we did the Housewives Hurrah, which was so fun to watch, yes. so fun to go through the photos and so many finishes and the selfies. And it, we loved it. We so loved it. So we think we're going to try to do that like four times a year, once in the fall, once in the winter. Right. Quarterly. Yep. Yeah. We just appreciate you participating mm -hmm. and making just a little bit of positivity in the right, world. Right, So thank you. All right, so for the winners, and again, this isn't a slight to anybody. Everybody's stuff was beautiful. Everybody's mm -hmm. selfies were beautiful. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, there's more opportunities to win. Um, the winners, and they're going to win. We have to figure out how to get a gift card to our shop. If but that, not, we're going we're gonna to give you the, the money. We just have to figure out how to or do it. Or if you know what you want, when you email that you want it, just tell us, go to the Etsy shop and... and Figure out which art you want and then tell us. Okay. Uh, but you'll email us and let us know that you want. So the winners are Jamie Mitchell, Tammy McKay Mill. Those are for the gear. And then for the vignettes or finishes, it's Christine Garner and Connie E. Dunn. Congratulations. Woohoo! Woo! All right. And then we had some giveaways. And thank you all for participating. It was yes, fun. Yes, 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 yes. We had some giveaways last week. Should we show, let's show what's new at Fat Quarter Shop first. Okay. Um, these, so th this is what she already showed you. So Fall Sunflowers, the floss pack for our Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher magazine. What else? This? This is, I don't know that we can show this yet. Okay. The next in the, the Prim Stitch series, she's not sure if it's been shown yet. Then there is Autumn... Typography. Mm -hmm. Typography. This is Waxing Moon Designs Blessings Around. That's cute. Heart of America by Little House Needleworks. Annie B's Folk Heart. This is Country Christmas 3. Okay, giveaways last week. We're trying to sort out our life. Uh, last week, we offered three of the Witch Please. Again, our email address is listed in the description box below. Email us. If you don't hear from us within 24 hours, email us again, and we will send it right out to you. Uh, this is Witch Please, and it's a PDF. Three winners, Norma Scalia, Patricia Simon, and Krista Williams. Congratulations. Um, 
This is your YouTube name, by the way. <laughs> Number two was uh, three opportunities to win Wanda. Where'd she go? Katoine Wanda. Wanda. She flew the coop. <laughs> All right, Wanda took off. This is Wanda, right? Yes, Wanda. Um, <laughs> She's running around with Calvin. Mary Kubasek, <laughs> Laura Clark, and PJ Stitcher. Congratulations. All right, number three were two opportunities from Fat Quarter Shop to win the chalkboard black 14 count Ada from the Fabric of the Month Club. That goes to Ann Och and Melissa Johnson. Awesome. Congratulations. I need to keep my life together. Uh, number four was from Southern Stitchers, and she's doing some hand-dyed fabric. This is called Witch's Brew Fabric. It's a 28 count. That goes to Bailey Fields. Next up was the Midnight from Whitley at Southern Stitchers. And that goes to Laura Kirchner. Thank you, Whitley. Next, we have Joy and Contentment. So three opportunities to win. Lori Holtz, second in the series, Joy and Contentment for the Prim Stitcher series. These are from Fat Quarter Shop. That goes to Linda Richter. Grandma Pama, 1776, and Heather North. Guarantee you there's a poopy diaper involved in this. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. Let's go. Where'd it go? All right. Next up. Here, stand behind me. Uh oh Show these, please. Next up is set F stitch cards. These are by Lori Holt. They go to Santa. Inside Voice, Santa, no. Um, Kitty. Madonna Adderich, Diane Wilson, and Janine Drew. Kitty. This no, is Santa. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Grandma. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Next up was... She's going to bite you. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. Take number 732.5. You'll get this video about 3 o'clock today. <laughs> this is the weird gourd that we were talking about last week that looks like the um, captain from mm -hmm. Pirates, of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. It's yucky. All right. Um, next up was the Sew by Row. This is a new one by Lori Holt. Again, from Fat Quarter Shop, there are three opportunities to win. Mary Brooks, Linda B., and Sazzy Nat 89. Congratulations. All right, then we have the November Trucking Along. There are three opportunities to win those. And that goes to Gloria Hensley, Deanna Lanker, and Kathy Birch. I'm disappointed, no turkey call. <laughs> Santa Claus. Like <laughs> Chicken that was with a turkey. Santa Claus is coming to town. Uh, three opportunities to win. Shannon Morton, Janet W., and Cheryl Corbett. All right. Those were the giveaways for this. I'm just curious. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 20, 25. 25. 25 of you. And then wow. four from the Housewives Hurrah, so almost 30 people. Ooh, doggy. All right, this week's giveaways, we're going to do a, a few things. So the, fir the first one is going to be, where are, are our things? Um, this, and where's the other ornament? Right here. All right, the first one is going to be three opportunities to win Spooky Haunts, the PDF. That'll be from our Etsy shop. This number two is three opportunities to win Pumpkin Queen. She is a pumpkin queen. <laughs> Number three is, um, you're doing this, yes. three opportunities to win Clovis and Stanley. This one will also be in PDF? Yes. Okay. Or do you want to give them charts? No, we'll do charts. Chart form. Or you can have either one. Yeah, you can decide. Okay. That that would be good. Number if three. If you want it right away, you can get a PDF. If you want a chart, we can mail it. That's number three. Three opportunities, three opportunities to win Clovis and Stanley. Number four was from a viewer today. This is French Country Owl. Number five is going to be that with the... How about, let's do this for number five since it's right there. Number five is a stitch quarterly from... 
Fat quarter shop. Fall stitch quarterly from Fat Quarter Shop. It's the full kit to do the entire thing. So yep. you get the bag, the yeah. pattern, the fabric, the fabric, the floss. All of it. That's number five. Five. Number six. The mailbox and the Santa's coming to town chart. From our generous viewer. That's number six. So you get both the chart in a um, chart in printed form mm -hmm. and you get the mailbox. Mm -hmm. Cash Andrew, what are you doing? <laughs> That's Num a really nice gift. Number seven are going to five opportunities to win this bundle. So you're going to get a cross stitch journal from It's So Emma. You're going to get a cross stitch key. A cross stitch key. Those magnetic like bobby pin line, line keepers. keepers. And the fancy floss for our Fall sunflowers. I don't know if you can see it. Fall sunflowers in the Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. So five opportunities. Okay, so you can show them. So five opportunities to win that. I and think that's courtesy of Fat Quarter Shop. Yes. And also the Stitch Quarterly is from Fat Quarter Shop. Yep. And what was the last Mama. one? Mama. Wow. No. The Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher magazine. Oh yes, There's coming straight from Deb at Punch Needle and Primitive yeah, Stitcher. Yeah, four magazine. opportunities to win the magazine. Here, let me get with the fall, the fall yeah. edition. Four opportunities yeah. to win that. So that was number what eight? Yeah. I don't know. Homework. Yeah. <laughs> I believe it's number eight. Yeah. Are you counting? Yay! Yeah. Yay! Can so, you tell your friends bye? Yeah, hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're stacking. Yeah. Okay. Mama. Hey. Okay. Hey. 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 Hello. Yeah. <laughs> he knows. Mom? Hey, look it. <gasps> Say bye. And bye. Mwah. Mwah. All right. See you later. Bye. Okay. Go. <laughs> so follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blade and Chelsea356 if we're not in jail. <laughs> Priscilla's 2000 on Facebook, Priscilla's 2000.blogspot.com, but I can't link to my Instagram <laughs> because we get arrested for it. <laughs> it's not real jail, don't worry. We didn't do anything wrong. I think it's just a glitch in their system. Um, they had to tighten up their security systems, Facebook did, and Facebook is linked with Instagram, so I think that they're yeah. just doing an overhaul and there's a glitch, is what I believe to be happening. We appreciate you tagging along with this video. It's going to be choppy and we don't know if it is even going to make sense because of how many times the clicker was turned off on accident. So we appreciate it. We appreciate you stitching our things and tagging them. All of the housewives. Hurrah. Loved it all. Thank yes. you so much for participating. Yay. We hope to have more. And we can't wait to see you stitching the new things that just went out. Yes. So we're excited for Boo to you. And that was what the, our friend that works in Disney sent us booty and said we're sending you some boo to you. I love it. Oh, just like, <laughs> I know. I want to be in Disney World so bad right now. I just, I feel like I'm at that point where I just need a break. Right. You know, just You need to get like, out of what you've been seeing for the past, right. can you believe we've been inside for six months? No. Well, we, I mean, not inside, but yes. It's, no, but it's like we've been in very a bubble. limited area. A right? bubble. So... We hope that uh, you get some reprieve this week with some stitching. We hope that you can make it through e-learning if you're doing that. Yes. We appreciate you hanging out with us. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else that we have coming up? No? I can't think of anything. Next Wednesday, check for the next uh, House Lives Halloween ornament. Mm -hmm. And then next Friday will be the next, next cup. cup. Vicky took six hours to stitch that to do. See, she's yes. like, it's tedious to... I'm not going to say how long it takes no. me to stitch once. <laughs> I'm not being replaced. Really, no, because I'm not so good at like staying in one place for a long time. So I'm always coming up. So it probably takes me twice as long to stitch. Yes. Like that. All right. We will see you guys next week. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Um, here we are again because we forgot to ask a question. Since we've been locked in quarantine, I'm sure that our pet peeves have come out even stronger. So we want to know what your biggest pet peeve is. We think it doesn't have to be cross stitch related. No. Just whatever you want to say. We need some interesting reading material. So give yes. it to us. So you're going to answer the question. Hey. You're going to answer the question below about what your uh, biggest pet peeve is. And he's fine. I set him down. Um, what your biggest pet peeve is, and then list out the numbers that you're interested in. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we'll pick our winners next week. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>